Johanna Cook, and you are here watching a brand new episode of Great Everyday Meals, straight from my personal kitchen into yours. And today we're gonna be making a really simple breakfast, even a nice after school snack for you and the kids. We're making smoothies. We're gonna make three different kinds of smoothies and the first one that we're gonna make is an orange smoothie, although there's really no oranges in it. It's the color orange of mangoes, pineapples, and papaya. So we have about here a cup of that mix of papaya, mango, and pineapple. We're also then gonna add some Greek yogurt to this. Let's see here, that's about a quarter cup. Take this out here. And we're gonna add almond milk. Love almond milk. All right. About one cup of almond milk. I'm gonna add a little bit of protein in it. It'll help you get through that morning slump and you know getting hungry in that weird time and your commute to work. And then I have some honey on hand. Depending on how sweet your fruit is, you may not need to add any or you may need to add just a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit, about one tablespoon. And all we're gonna do now is blend. All right, let's see how that is. Oops, open this gently. You don't want it splattering everywhere. And we'll see how thick it is. Oh, it's nice and thick. Beautiful. And there goes our first smoothie. Our mango, pineapple, and papaya smoothie. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. So good. And we'll move on to our other two. So our second smoothie is a little bit more adult, a green smoothie. There are many, many green smoothie recipes out there. This is my kind of my recipe for it. So everything is green, obviously. This is a healthy, really good green smoothie. We're gonna start to by taking half of this green apple. Perfect. The green, the Granny Smith apple will give it a nice tartness. Um, just to balance all the flavors, you have the sweet grapes. I love adding grapes to any and you know many of my smoothies because instead of adding sugar, usually if you have sweet grapes, it's a much better alternative to sugar. You just put a little bit more of the sweet fruit. So we're gonna put those grapes, frozen grapes and kiwi, in there. We're gonna do the apple, our handful of spinach, about a tablespoon of almonds, we're gonna use water, or if you have coconut water, you can use coconut water too. A little bit, that's about a cup of water. And just a little sweetness, we're gonna add one tablespoon of honey again. Agave nectar you can use, regular sugar you could use, I like honey. That in and blend. Awesome. For this one, because we have the almonds and there's a lot of ingredients, spinach, you want to make sure that you really blend it together real well. Let's try this again just to make sure the flavors are good. Oh yeah, the Granny Smith apple really helps like so that it doesn't taste spinachy <laughs> or anything else. Even this is a good one for kids because of the water it tastes more like juice than it is a smoothie. We have a cute little cup here. Pour that in there. A little bit of apple for garnish. And there you go. Green Smoothie by Mama Cuisine. Mm. We're gonna move on now to our berry smoothie. 
Our last smoothie is a strawberry smoothie. We're gonna add, like I said, one part vegetable. So first part is I actually went to Wisconsin with my family last summer and picked our own strawberries. So these are beautiful little super red strawberries from Wisconsin that I froze because I like to freeze fruit, everyone's finding out now. And same thing with red grapes. These red grapes were actually getting super ripe to the point that if I had left it in the fridge maybe a day or more or two days or more, I would have had to throw them away. So instead of throwing them away because they were getting a little bit ripe, I took them all and froze it. Put them all in the cookie sheet and then put them in the bag after they've frozen and use them in my smoothies. And that way, I save my money, I'm not throwing my money in the garbage and I'm able to use it later on. So we have here about one cup of fresh strawberries, a handful of red grapes, and we have a little bit of carrots. That's our one vegetable that we're going to add to our smoothie is a handful of these little chopped um, carrots here, baby carrots. All right, so let's get to our blender. Same thing, dump it all in, very easy. Get our carrots here. And this one we're gonna use Greek yogurt again. About a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. One cup of your favorite almond milk. And one tablespoon of honey. That in there, and you know the drill. Put the top on and blend it really, really well. Awesome. You gotta kinda peek in and make sure it's doing the funnel, right? For you guys who make a lot of smoothies, you know that it's really nice and blended together when it starts to funnel together. So I was peeking in just now to check it out. It looks perfect. All right, and here we go. Our last smoothie is this strawberry smoothie with red grapes and carrots. Give it a try. Mmm. Oh, so yummy. I hope that you go ahead and try one of these smoothie recipes for you and your family. Give it a try. Let me know what you think and share also your favorite smoothie recipes. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Great Everyday Meals. We'll see you next time. Bye.